In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a transparent video using Adobe After Effects. You're probably wondering, what is a transparent video? Well, I bet you've seen one on some of the different sites. Here's a quick example at richdayhealthplans.com if you want to take a look. It's a video without a background. The foreground image is separated from the background. The background is usually a, a special color, such as a green or a blue background. Consequently, when you show this video, only the alpha channel or the primary portion is shown. And you can see through the video's background right into the web page or wherever you've placed it. Place it on any background you want or you can put a special background in there. Let's take a look at how it's done with Adobe After Effects. It's not very hard to do as you'll see. I hope you'll try it. Here we are in Adobe After Effects. I'm going to demonstrate how we bring in a video that I made with Sony Vegas Video and I exported it or rendered it with as an AVI file with no compression at all. I wanted the best quality file to bring into After Effects. So let's bring that in. I'll import it. You can see it right here. I'm going to drag it and drop it onto the work area, the composition area. You'll notice that I'm working with 200 percent size. I find that that really shows up the inadequacies of a video. Here's what it looks like at 100 percent. So it's not quite as easy to see imperfections. So let's work at 200 percent. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of the background and the easiest way to do that is to use a garbage mat. I go to the pen and then I just click around not too close to the head because the head's going to move. I want to get close here. And we even go outside here, that's okay. Then when I hit this one, it closes it up, and there we are. Now what we want to do is test that to see if I go outside it. If I do, I'm coming pretty close here. So what I'm going to do is hold down my control key and move that out a little bit. Okay, that's good. Next thing we're going to do is choose the keying. Now there's many different w methods of keying, but the very, very, very best one, in my opinion, easiest to use, is the key light. Just drag it and drop it right onto the picture, and it opens up the control, effect controls over here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this yellow mat, just by clicking right here, and I'm going to get rid of this green. I'm going to take the dropper and it goes somewhat close to the face but not too close and when I click on it it gets rid of that. Now notice we've got some imperfections here that I want to get rid of. So I go to the screen gain and I hover over the 100 and push down my left mouse button and move it carefully until I just get rid of the imperfections. Don't want to go too far. If I go too far one way or if I go too far the other way. Now this is a black sport coat. So it should be black. Okay, and the screen balance will do the same item, you know, move it back and forth. And watch your face, watch everywhere. See if I go too far here, the blue in my shirt goes wrong go too far the other way, my face goes wrong. So right about there is good. Next we'll click on screen mat and we're going to clip black. And we move it back and forth just observing very carefully what you have and clip white.
There are many other things you can do, but this is about what you need to do in order to make it look good. Here's what it'll look when it's actually rendered. Notice that there's no background. That's indicating those little X's or boxes mean that it's transparent. Okay, we're going to go up to File. We're going to Export. We want to export as an FLV file. For the video, we're going to use Encode the Video on to VP6. We're going to encode the alpha channel. The quality we need is only low. Let's look at the audio. We could use 16 kilobits mono, or 32 is is good enough. If we if we go up to a higher bit rate, there's there's no reason to do it, especially we're not even using stereo. But it just makes your file larger and then it takes longer to load. We're not going to crop or resize. So we hit OK. Choose a file name. I'm going to overwrite one. And now it's doing its work. Okay, we've used, we've rendered that file out of After Effects. I want to show you something. Here's the AVI file that we imported. It's 642 megs. Coming out, it's just a little over 3 megs. Let's take a look at it. What I'm using is a special player, which you can get from RIVA. It's a transparent player. See, there's no background. This is their symbol. This is the Riva logo in the background. It's very handy to see if you've rendered it properly and if you've gotten rid of the background correctly. It's sharp enough. It retained the highlights in the eyes, which I think is very important on a video. So there you are. Wasn't too hard. It's Rich Day at TrafficBumper.com.